Um, okay, we're rolling. Frank Warren, thank you for coming and talking to us at Baylor TV. Um, those of you talk back very quickly, Drew Dos Saunders and Christian Dave Jr. Actually, you've got that fight coming up. Well, first of all, I've got both big winning. Okay. Drew's got a big fight coming up in the 20th century. Okay. Got the fans from the arena in Manchester. Right. He's fighting uh, Valdemir and he's uh, undefeated uh, 22 and undefeated fight. He wins that and uh, gets him in the number one spot in the WBO uh, to fight for their title. But young Christian is on his tail, mm -hmm. he's now 15 and 0, and uh, he'll have a couple of fights before then. So I think probably within the next, I don't know, nine months they'll be getting it. Okay, let's take you back. Nigel Ben, Chris Eubank. Chris Eubank then was the unknown, everybody knew Nigel Ben was. And everybody was saying, well, you know, Chris Eubank is not the real McCoy, he's not this, he's not that. Then he goes and fights Ben, and he calls you hoops upset at the time. Okay. Eubank Jr. and now uh, Billy Joe Saunders. Looking at that fight for the future, is there possibly that people are overlooking Eubank Jr.? Or is there a lot of hype around him and he's not really the real McCoy? What do you think? Well, we don't know where he's the real McCoy yet. He looks good in that does. He's got, he looks very good. His last fight, I think, was a tremendous performance. Great knockout, mm -hmm. punch. He's, he's got great mindset. Mm -hmm. Is he the real McCoy? We'll find out about that when we step in the shop. He steps up in the shop. You're a very experienced promoter and manager. You would know really what Eubank Jr. is about. From what you've heard, what if, from what you've heard, I've heard a lot about him. His father said GGG, he said he's the best since his life bread. How much can we look into that and actually take that as, as substance? He genuinely believes that. I'm always of opinion. You only find out how good a father is when he's spent up to now with him. He's done everything right. But no one's hit him on the chin. I'm not to make him a gym. Chris tells me, Chris Singer tells me, he takes a shot, but I haven't seen it happen in the ring. There's a lot of question marks there. Right. There are a lot of positives there. There aren't any negatives at the moment. There are a lot of positives. Right. There are a lot of answers that we have to find out. Final question. Just more fury, too. Sitting here, I'm thinking to myself, hmm, good fight, but why didn't Frank like take through one way and then Chisora the other way, both go for world titles and then come back and fight one another in a unification match, for example? Because we're trying to force the issue here. The only way you're going to do that is to get a guy in a number one spot, otherwise they only want to get ridiculous options. They probably won't take the fight against either of the guys. They'll probably carry on doing what they're doing, which is finding guys who are substandard. That's what, what, what he's been doing. That's what's been going on. They are, this fight itself is better than any world title. Which guy's been involved in for a number of years. So the winner of this quite deserves to be in the ring facing the pitch on decent terms and, and didn't take a fight, proper fight. And then finally, after talking to James Alibashur extensive times, he said that he thinks that a fight with Chisora would be more exciting than a fight with Fury. Uh, had, if Klitschko were to fight one of the two. So you say that again? James Alibashur, his assistant yeah. trainer to the black, um, the top, Vladimir yeah. Klitschko, sorry, said that he thought that a fight with Chisora would be more exciting than a fight with Tyson Fury. Well, there's a lot of history of people with the other guy. You know, Derek was he put yeah. he out a fight with Eric twice. He did? And he managed to do it, I believe, told him not to go take, take the, the fight. fight. So he pulled out twice, so it's not really uh, so it's not exactly gladiatorial um, behaviour. Right. And that, that you know, Derek's one of the fights was the action was actually the day before the fight. So Derek trained hard, no compensation, no nothing. Right. It's great. Absolutely. Um, of course it would be a better fight than Derek, because Derek fancies it for his life to fight. And more importantly, um, you know, a couple of things happened in Germany with his brother. If you remember, he was, there was a lot of stuff going on in the mm -hmm. background. Mm -hmm. I'm quite sure Derek would love to be on the ring and uh, get, legally get a cast. <laughs> <laughs> be, uh, uh, you know, so you fight, they're fighting for the right. That's right. They're fighting for the right. Being in the ring forms the issue. Frank Warren, thanks for coming. Thank you. 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 There you have it, Frank Warren. And we're Bay Loric TV, and we're out.